What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Random League Selector. Today we are on episode 24 and we are in the Empower League 1. I recently did the Empower League 2 which I really enjoyed so I thought that this league would be good as well. But in all fairness it was more of a struggle than it was with the League 2 side. And I just had quite a struggle playing with all the players in this league. I'm not sure why but it wasn't the same as playing with the Empower League 2 guys. Uh, but once I got used to the formation and the players for the team I ended up pulling out some results which is good. And I managed to beat uh, uh, some pretty good goal teams whilst I was at it as well which is quite good for this team and uh, we'll now swing over into the squad builder to show you guys Right guys, moving on into the squad builder part of this episode. As you can see on screen, we are rolling with the 3-5-2 formation and we are using a fully bronze team for the Empower League 1. There are some silvers, but I decided to rock out with a fully bronze team just to see if I could get in the bronze cup. But unfortunately, there was no people playing the bronze cup at all, which is a shame. But all in all, it was a pretty decent team, like I said, once I got the hang of it. And we'll now get on to showing you guys the players. So in goal, first of all, we do have Jalal. I think this guy is the best goalkeeper in the league, I do believe. And he does have 72 diving. 71 reflexes as well then being his standout stats he's very cheap as well i picked him up on a 200 coin bid and that's absolutely fantastic for a player of his quality for a fully bronze team and to move up to start off the defensive line on the pitch first of all we do have pierce he does have an absolutely fantastic card he does have 80 pace 62 defending and 68 heading absolutely brilliant 3300 coins so he's quite expensive for a bronze center back but definitely worth the coins for this team and moving over to the middle centre-back, we do have Okonoge, I believe that I can't really murder names on this game. But he does have 71 pace, 64 defending and 74 heading, so very good at getting up for headers. And I wouldn't be surprised with that 6 foot 3 tallness. He's absolutely fantastic at the back and 2,500 coins again, quite expensive but definitely worth it for the squad. And to move over to the last centre-back for the team, we do have Envoto. I have used him in a fully bronze French team before and he's absolutely fantastic. He's like an absolute beast at the back. 74 pace. 63 defending and 75 heading and his strength is undeniable he's so 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 strong on the ball six for four as well so he's an absolute beast at the back like i said and only 1800 coins is the cheapest of the center backs and probably one of the best of the center backs and that is the defensive line complete we'll now move up to the cdms for the team and first of all we do have mozika 74 pace and 61 defending and 67 heading are his standout stats a brilliant player in my opinion he did do very well and he is what to, was 2,000 coins and uh, definitely worthy coins for the team. He filled in at the back as well when needed. And to accompany him at the CDM role, we do have Grant. Someone suggested me him whilst I was streaming, so I decided to pick him up. 73 pace, 64 defending, and 67 heading. Definitely some good stats for this guy. 3,500 coins, so he's quite expensive, but definitely worth getting alongside Mazika. And guys, just whilst you're watching, if you're wondering why it says that I do have zero games played, I played all of the games with this squad against my stream viewers. I was streaming for about three hours or more, and I was just playing my viewers with this team after I'd built it. So that is why it says that there are no games played, because the friendly games do not count, which is a shame. But we'll get on again, and moving over to the left mid, we do have Bartram. This guy was fantastic for me. I really enjoyed using him. He does have 86 pace, and the rest of his stats are pretty average, all around the 50s and 60s, which is a shame. But he does have four-star weak foot, which is a pretty good uh, stat for a bronze card and he was 2,900 coins so around 3,000 coins isn't too bad for this guy and he did manage to nick himself a few goals whilst I was playing against the stream and moving over to the other side of the pitch at the right mid you guys know who it is the bronze beast it is Taylor he does have 91 pace but the rest of his stats are pretty shameful apart from his four star skills which everyone buys him for and he is only 2,300 coins now guys so definitely go out and pick him up if you do have a fully bronze side and moving up once again, into the center attack in mid roll, we do have McSheffrey. This guy's left foot is an absolute devil. His left foot is so, so powerful. And he does have 73 face. 73 face? <laughs> I mean, he does have 73 pace, 71 shooting, and the rest of his stats being pretty average. Unfortunately, he doesn't have four-star skills, but he is only 2,200 coins and definitely worth picking up. He scored a couple of goals with his left foot for me and his right foot. He's, he's too good on both feet, to be quite honest. His shot power is undeniable. It's absolutely fantastic and definitely worth getting for the squad. And to move up to the strike partnership, first of all, we do have Wesker. I had to get this guy for the squad, and he does have 88 pace. Only 58 shooting, which is a shame, but he does have 68 heading as well. And he's so strong on the ball. He's very, very strong on the ball. Six foot tall as well, so he's great at getting up for them headers. And definitely worth accompanying in who we do have over the other side, and that is Graban. 82 pace, 
63 shooting, so got a better shooting of the two, I do believe. And also, Graban is it's just absolutely fantastic. First of all, I really couldn't get used to playing with him, but then once I got used to the team, he was banging goals in left, right, and centre. Only 2,200 coins as well, and definitely worth getting. I was going to have Westcar and Slew up front, but Slew was around 10,000 coins, and I found Graban to be very, very good anyway, especially 8,000 coins cheaper, so that's definitely worth the coins there. So, guys... That is the team. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like and a comment. That would be absolutely fantastic. And also, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I do post FIFA content daily. And if you check in the description, all of my other links will be there, such as my second channel, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my live stream. So make sure I'm going to check them all out as that would be absolutely amazing as well. And I will catch you guys for another video. Bye.